Why, hello YouTube. Today, we have a realistic stereo electret one-piece microphone. This is the nice leather case it comes in. Pretty nice. This is the booklet that came with it. It's catalog number 33-1085 in case you Radio Shack catalog people would like to know. rotatable pickup head. You can actually rotate the direction that the mic picks up sound from, which is pretty awesome. Back electret principle. And as you can see, the mic actually has a preamp built in. You can put a battery in it, which I will show you later in the video. Here are the specs of the mic. 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, frequency response, impedance is 600 ohms, sensitivity is uh, minus 75 decibels. You can read the rest if you pause the video. Same with this side. Here's a schematic diagram. frequency response curves. Radio Shack, the vision of Tandy Corporation. And now I'll show you the microphone itself. Here she is. Here she is, Radio Shack Electrod Stereo Microphone. Oops. And this is where the battery goes. You unscrew the handle and you get the one AA battery for the preamp. There's the Radio Shack date code, which is October 1980. The thing that's interesting is it ends in two mono plugs. And they're, and they're color coded on the cord as well as for each pickup on the microphone. So, in a sense, they're matching, which is kind of cool. Now what I've done in order to plug it into cassette recorders and the computer is uh, I have to take these, plug those into this, which converts both signals to mono, as you can see by the one stripe on there. Take this and put it into another adapter to convert that to 3.5 millimeter jack. This is what I'll be using with the computer to test this microphone, so let's move over to do that. So currently, I have this dinky little Apple microphone hooked up that I featured in the previous video. I will unplug that live and plug this in. Okay, so now we're going to unplug the mic from the back. Now you should be hearing sound from this realistic microphone. Now I bought this microphone with the intention of using it for um, recording universally. I mean, I could use this on a computer, I could use this on a tape recorder, I could use this on the reel-to-reel -reel deck over there. 
which I tried earlier for this video, but unfortunately there's something wrong with the recording process in that machine, and I don't know. I'll get around to working on that at some point. I don't know, but one thing, a couple things I can tell you about this microphone. It sounds very clear, very, very distinct, and the detail is really good. The bass is good. Overall, this is just one hell of a microphone. It's excellent quality. Realistic really made good stuff back in the in the uh, 70s and uh, 80s. This is me speaking directly into the microphone. This is me speaking at a distance. This is me speaking at a moderate distance that I would probably normally dictate, podcast, do whatever. Now I'm going to demonstrate what happens when I uh, change when I change on the microphone, change the direction of the input with these little things. Now I'm speaking into the top of the microphone and it should not be as present. Now with these like this, I should be able to speak into the microphone like this. And this microphone would be perfect for this sort of a thing as with a pop filter and could be great for podcasting and could also be just great for general recording of music and voices both together considering it has both settings. Now both the pickups are back at the top because that's where I prefer it when I'm holding a microphone anyway. I'm thinking about getting a pop filter for this thing and making it a de really good recording microphone possibly for screencasts in the future or just for uh, simple voiceovers and videos. Now I'll switch this to the music setting so you can see what the preamp does. Now that I've switched the microphone to the music setting, the preamp should be much stronger and my voice should be clipping a little bit. This is me speaking at a distance. This is me speaking at a moderate distance that I'd normally dictate, record music, do whatever. And let me switch it back to voice. That probably sounds much better now. With a pop filter, this thing would sound so good. So good. And... Uh, this has been a presentation of the Realistic Stereo Electret One Piece Microphone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.